they stay there and they say yeah. All right. Good evening, Utah. How are we tonight? It's great to be with you. Thank you for that intro, Glenn, and thank you to all of you for coming tonight. I got to say, this is my second Hall of Fame in my short tenure here um, at UTC, and I'm overwhelmed with gratitude to look out and see all of your faces. Uh, last year, I was only two months in to this gig when I was asked to speak uh, for and in behalf of this industry. Uh, I've been on the other side of this stage. Uh, during my years in the industry, I've sat where you're sitting now. I've picked at rubber chicken, and I've clapped for people that I probably didn't even know that well. I've fought for parking, I've walked long halls, and I've attended many conferences, many more conferences than I care to admit. But standing here right now, looking out at all of you, I'm reminded of the most important thing that I've learned about you and about all of us and about UTC. And that is that we are a community. You may not know your neighbor or your neighboring table. There's an off chance that you might not even know who some of the people up here on stage are tonight. But your contribution shows that no matter what you do from nine to five, you care about the innovators, the creators, and the visionaries in Utah. You care about ensuring that the success of our industry by investing of your time and talents in events like these, large or small. You take the time to give back, and for that, I say thank you. I'd like to briefly acknowledge some distinguished guests that we have here. If you wouldn't mind, just hold your applause for just a moment. With, this, with us this evening, of course, is Senator Orrin Hatch. Uh, we also have Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox with us, and we also have State Auditor John Dougal, and many other state uh, elected officials. So please join me in, in thanking them for being here. The work that UTC is doing in the community takes time and money, and some of our donors have a little more pocket change to spare, and I got to pay the bills. So specifically, I want to thank my good friend Steve Daly from Avanti for their generous title sponsorship tonight. He'll join me on stage a little bit later as we present the awards to our inductees. I also want to thank Zions Bank. If you're a startup or a student, please make sure to shake hands with someone from Avanti or Zions Bank tonight because they paid for your ticket and believe me, it wasn't cheap. You can tip your glass to our friends at Overstock and Medici Ventures. They uh, opened the bar for us this evening. Uh, I'm not a drinker. I'm not a drinker, but I realized earlier tonight I'm going to have to charge double so we get Coke Zero uh, in the bar. And those delectable desserts that you have are sponsored by Ancestry.com, and I was just, yes, shout it out, Ancestry. I was only made recently aware that their edible logo will transmit your DNA to their Ancestry cloud. I'm definitely, probably, most certainly kidding. We come together as a community each year to honor great individuals. A big shout out to the Women Tech Council, Silicon Slopes, and Bio Utah, some of our great community partners. Please, let's hear it for these great folks. These organizations are pillars in our community and have helped me as the new CEO of UTC immeasurably. There's nothing better or more uh, important than knowing that you have someone to call, to reach out to, to ask advice or guidance, and knowing that we're all in this together, doing everything we can to build this community is the uh, do, knowing everything we doing everything we can to build this community to be the best that it can be. If you're a woman entrepreneur, a woman executive, or one of our amazing women in tech, in tech, please make a lot of noise right now. Do not let anyone tell you that women in Utah's tech scene don't exist. There, this is only a fraction of the amazing people we have entering this sector, creating amazing products, uh, projects, and visions, and executing on them. These women are leading us into a future of equality and success that we cannot yet comprehend. I want to give my personal thanks to our friends at the Women Tech Council for co-sponsoring the Women Founders and Women Executive Tables tonight. <laughs> Speaking
Speaking of incredible women, when I arrived at UTC, I knew that we needed to make changes. I knew I needed a chair that could devote the time and effort to helping me grow not only professionally but with the association. I moved quickly to ask that Catherine Murphy be appointed our chair. She had some maneuvering to do at Salesforce, but she got it done. She's a true believer in Utah, in UTC, and in all of you. She has stood shoulder to shoulder with me as we work together on behalf of the association and on behalf of our state. In fact, she's going to keep standing shoulder to shoulder with me later tonight as we award our inductees. For 20 years, UTC has been honoring entrepreneurs, statesmen, philanthropists, and inventors for their contribution to Utah's economy. If you've ever been to our office, you can see their pictures lining our boardroom walls. It's amazing to see that such influential people has, have come from this, um, this state, from this place, from this community. I'm continually awestruck at the impact a single person can make. They didn't start as heroes or geniuses. They started like everyone else. Take Nolan Bushnell. He grew up in Clearfield, Utah. He worked his way through college by, going, uh, by spending his summers at Lagoon. Eventually, he'd go on to create the Atari game system and later Chuck E. Cheese. He's even got a theoretical law named after him. Bushnell's law says that games ought to be easy to learn and difficult to master. I think that my young children agree that's what Fortnite is. Bruce Bastian was the founder, or was, was a leader in the BYU marching band until the director, Alan Ashton, asked him to join WordPerfect. Another, Ed Catmull, co, uh, would, would go on to be co-founder and CTO at a little tiny studio called Pixar, and eventually have a digital rendering of his hand on file in the Library of Congress. He's a graduate of the University of Utah School of Engineering. And there are 50 plus more stories just like these. Our previous inductees, and this is amazing to me, are the creators of just about everything we see around us today, of our everyday life. We have quite a few members of the Hall of Fame in the audience tonight. If you are an inductee in the UTC Hall of Fame, and there are many here, please stand now and be recognized again for your contributions. I cannot wait to see what the next 20 years will bring because I know that there are future inductees sitting in the audience right now. Our future is right now. We're making it happen, you're making it happen, so let's get this thing started. Tonight, we're gonna honor a man who has spent the best part of his life in service to the state of Utah. Senator Hatch, your legacy on Utah's tech community cannot be overstated. Jeremy Andrus might be best known in this audience for bringing Traeger to Utah. I'm an unabashed member of the Traeger Nation, in part because people think I now know how to cook. While Traeger is a technologically advanced machine that allows almost hands-off approach to cooking, Jeremy's impact on Utah and the innovation community is so much more than that. From his days at Skull Candy until today, Jeremy is known as one of the most prolific angel investors in Utah and one of the biggest proponents of mentorship for growing the next generation. His current work and impact on our community will be felt for a long time to come. And then there's Gail Miller. When I, was, when I visited with Gail to let her know that she had been nominated for the award, she accepted the award gracefully and with characteristic humility. And she also laughed a little at me, which is okay. You're all allowed to laugh. She laughed a little at me but, and said, John, but, but for tech? Yes, for tech. You see, Gail is tenaciously building one of the foundational blocks that will impact Utah and every Utah company for generations to come. It is our fastest growing sector and her impact cannot be felt, so yes. Or her impact will always be felt, so yes, for tech. Her charitable investments in both K-12 and higher education in Utah are too long to list. But beyond her financial contributions, she has invested her far too precious time demonstrating her passion for and commitment to the causes she supports. She's a constant inspiration to women and men by proving that you are stronger, more capable, and more talented than you think you are. So yes, Gail, 
for tech. And finally, Ryan Smith. Ryan built Qualtrics as a way to spend more time with his dad, who had been recently diagnosed with cancer. In the basement of his dad's home, they set out to invent and innovate a product category called experience management. Today, that company is worth billions of dollars, and Qualtrics charity, called Five for the Fight, is furiously working to eradicate this terrible disease. Think about that, moms and dads, when your son says to you that he is in the basement feverishly building a really cool new tech. Maybe, just maybe, he really is. These are the visionaries we honor today. We thank them for their service, their continued optimism, and their commitment to making Utah the strongest, most inclusive, and most connected innovation community in the country. Avalanche Studios has done a masterful job capturing their sentiment. And so without further ado, let's roll tape.